Hi, welcome to Nokia's 5G Technology Experience Center, Budapest. My name is Edina Lamy, technical lead for Nokia Core Slicing team. Today, I'm going to talk about the user equipment route selection policy feature enabled by the Nokia Network Slicing solution and the Nokia Policy Controller product. Network slicing offers a new generation of building and operating networks, ensuring unlimited flexibility and speed in providing differentiated services on demand. URSP provides further value-added opportunities and a new way of monetization for CSPs. URSP, coupled with the advantages of network slicing and policy control function, provides an innovative method of delivering differentiated services to the end user by giving the capability of moving policy decisions all the way to the end device. URSP enables user equipment to switch automatically among different network slices depending on which application is running on the device. In this way, applications based on their specific requirements can be routed to dedicated slices, providing exactly those quality of services that they need, which results in different connected experiences. Whether it is about low latency, high bandwidth or ultra reliability, by associating a URSP policy with a mobile phone application, the network is guided to guarantee the required service quality for the data session initiated by the application. It is not only beneficial to the subscriber, but also to the operator, because the operator can optimize the usage of resources by providing the best user experience. The policies can either be pre-configured on the device itself, or what is more relevant to us in this video, the policies can be provided dynamically by the Nokia policy controller based on CSP's configuration principles. Starting from Android 12, users can separate their applications to a personal and a work profile. With the help of URSP, applications in each profile can be associated with different network slices and DNNs. For example, in the personal profile, a user can store private data and use it for off-work entertainment, while in the work profile, they can run corporate applications. And now, let's dive into the details of managing profiles and build hands-on experience with the Nokia Policy Controller-enabled URSP feature. This is the management interface of the Nokia Policy Controller, which shows all set of policies based on which the network is operated. For the URSP use case, I created a separate policy profile and populated the Nokia Policy Controller with the corresponding URSP policies as well. URSP policies are composed of two main parts, the Traffic Selection Descriptor and the Route Selection Descriptor. In the Traffic Descriptor, we can specify the application, which is assigned with the policy, or by leaving out the application identifier, we can create a match-all URSP policy, which is used as a default policy for applications which don't have specific requirements. The route selection descriptor specifies how to route the traffic that matches. Here, for example, we can specify which network slice and DNN should be used when routing the matched traffic. Now, let's check how policies look like. I opened the active policy profile, which assigns special network triggers to route groups. If we take a closer look at the details of UV session establishment trigger, we find several rules in the route group. When a user initiates the registration in the network, all active rules in the rule group are evaluated for policy decision. We created each rule for a specific subscriber, but it is also possible to assign a rule with a range of subscribers based on their subscription permanent identifiers. The rules consist of multiple actions, some of which are added to set the appropriate URSP policies. In our case, subscribers have got two URSP policies, so depending on the application, they can use two slices for communication, which provide different QoS and route it to different DNS. As I mentioned before, subscribers with Android devices can launch applications in the personal or the work profile. Thus, one URSP policy routes the traffic of personal applications to a slice, providing lower bandwidth, while the other one routes the traffic of work applications to another slice, providing higher bandwidth. And now, let's see how these profiles work on a Google Pixel 6 running Android 12. To present the different quality settings of two applications in the personal and the work profiles, I have provisioned the subscriber with the two URSP policies. 
When the UE registers to the network, the UE session establishment trigger is initiated in the Nokia policy controller and it starts the UE configuration update procedure to deliver the new URSP policy to the device. To demonstrate the result, let's open two internet browsers on separate profiles in a split view and run speed test on both instances. As expected, in the personal profile we have much lower bandwidth than in the work profile. This happens because the downlink throughput per UE is set to 1 gigabit per sec in the network slice associated with the work profile and it is limited to 10 megabit per sec in the network slice associated with the personal profile. And therefore, we can justify that with the help of Nokia Policy Controller's rule engine and the URSP policies, the network can provide the right QoS parameters for the right application to the right subscribers. In this video, we have seen how network slices are used to support the URSP feature via URSP policies managed by the Nokia Policy Controller. Nokia Policy Controller is a fully cloud-native solution based on a containerized microservices architecture. Its extensive set of field-proven capabilities address a wide range of use cases and enables operators to deliver new services to the market quickly and maximize the return on investment. This could not be realized without the industry-leading rule engine capabilities it has, which dynamically controls user interactions based on subscription plan, device, access method or location. Thank you for your attention.